Hey guys, Super Tentabuff here, and I'm here with my very first Xco tutorial for 2011. So this is going to be a tutorial showing you um, actually something very interesting, um, something which a lot of developers use in their iOS applications, and that is of course a UI web view. So um, I'm going to be doing two tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to load a web page and a certain file, like a PDF file, off the internet. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but instead of loading it from the internet, you're going to load your content locally from the resources file um, in your uh, Xcode project um, resources folder. So, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to load the content from an online website. So we're going to simply start off by uh, opening a view-based application. I'm going to call it WebView. And let's make this Xcode window bigger. Okay, so now we're going to come into our classes folder and we're going to click on the viewcontrol.h file and we're going to simply declare our IB, our um, UI web view. So in between our curly brackets, type in the following code IB outlet space UI web view space star and then type a name for your web view. So I'm going to call it my web view. Semicolon to save that. Now I'm going to use an app property function. So after the closing curly brackets, type in the following code. So I'm just going to get a drink of water because my voice is a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, back into the code. So type in the following code. So at property space uh, open brackets non atomic comma space retain. Close the brackets, space UI, web view, space star, and I'll type in the name of our web view. So mine's called my web view. Semicolon save. Now let's come into the viewcontrol.m file and tell our web view what to do. So first of all, under the at implementation code here, we're gonna use, we're gonna type in the at synthesize code because obviously we use the at property function in the viewcontrol.h file. So at synthesize space and then type in the name of our web view, so my web view, semicolon so save. Now I'm going to use the view, super view did load function and that's because I want my web view to load immediately as the page loads but the code I'm about to type here you could use in a button so when the button's pressed the web view would do the following thing like you know load a web page or load a PDF file. So here I'm going to type in the following code so open square brackets Name of our web view, so my web view, space load request, um, colon, open, open square brackets, ns url, ns, ns url, uh, request, space request with url, colon, open square brackets, ns url, space url with string, colon, um, and then put at and open two quotations and in between our quotations we're going to put in the link for a website. So I'm going to open the Google website so HTTP um, google.co.uk and after our closing um, quotation mark just close up all our opening uh, square brackets. So we've got three opening square brackets so we're going to close three semicolon and save that and that is literally it guys that is how you can load a web page off the internet in your UI web view so that's the code now we're going to come into the resources folder and we're going to open our view control.xib and we're going to simply add a UI web view to our interface file so come into your library and drag a web view into your page now come into the inspect tab and make sure your UI web view is selected. Now on the first tab you get a few options here, I just want to note these things down. So you might it's a good idea always to collect the scaling option, which has scales page to fit. Um, especially if you're just loading a normal desktop page off the internet, then you want the uh, the iOS SDK to or the iPhone OS to immediately or the iOS operating system, sorry, to immediately resize the page so it fits in with the user's iDevice screen size. And then 
<clears throat> sorry about this, guys. My voice is <clears throat> very um sort of weird today. Sorry about that. Um, excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry about that, but uh, hopefully it should get better soon. So anyway, um, then we get a few other options. Uh, so we get phone numbers, address, events, links. So this is whether you want your UI web view to de detect them. So for example, if you've got loads of phone numbers on your website and you want the user to be able to click on one of them and call you, then you want this option here selected. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to come and click our files owner come to the uh, connections tab in inspector and link up our IB, our IB outlet which is in this case called my web view to our web view save that quit interface builder and build and run and uh, as long as oh sorry closed Xcode why did I do that okay well as long as we've done everything correctly our web view should load so there is our web view, web view and it's loaded the Google web page as we can see and uh, there we go we can load any page let's put in another apple here whatever there we go whatever but the point is we can load any web page uh, we want from the internet in our UI web view so there we go that, that's it guys that's really it's really simple as you can see it's so simple to load a UI web view into your iOS application. So uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial guys. Uh, please st stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I'll be bringing more great U uh, Xcode tutorials um, as well as going in depth a bit more into this UI web view tutorial as well. Well thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry about my voice today, hopefully that will get better. Um, and. Uh, yeah, thank you very much to everybody f for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, while I'm here, I would like to tell you about one uh, new app I've got on the App Store. Well, actually not new, it's been around for, well, ever since sort of December 2010. Uh, but I never got a chance to really advertise it on my YouTube channel. So I'd just like to show you quickly on uh, the iTunes Store. So if, on the iTunes Store, if we just search for, let's take the buff apps. Go. Uh, so, I really like helping people, um, you know, with Xcode and helping them learn how to make iPhone applications. So, you know, a few months ago, I made this. This is S SDK tutorials. It's available um, on the App Store, and it helps you uh, learn how to develop iOS applications. It's got some video tutorials, some source code you can use in the applications. It's got developer tips and. It's got access to my YouTube videos as well. So if you'd like to download that, it's available on the App Store. It's only 59p. Um, if you're interested in that, please go and download it. Maybe even add an iTunes review. Um, the money which I earn from this would also be used to, for making you know more Xcode tutorials as well. So you know, please go and download it if you're interested. If you, you know, if you're interested, if you're a beginner developer, then this is a great application for you, um, and it give, gives you some great, great content. Um, so that's SDK tutorials uh, available on the iOS App Store in all countries, um, and it's 59p in the UK, 99 cents in the US, and so on in other countries. Uh, but there we have it, guys. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this Xcode tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.